So in this lesson, we are going to look at Riccati differential equations and we are going to learn how to solve them. So a Riccati differential equation is given of the form dy dx plus p of x times y equals r of x times y square plus k of x. This is a Riccati differential equation. Now, a Riccati differential equation is usually a non-linear differential equation. And this Riccati differential equation can either be reduced to a Bernoulli differential equation or a linear first order differential equation. Now, let's assume that r of x is equal to 0. So, if r of x is equal to 0, then this whole term goes to 0 so that we have the differential equation dy dx plus p of x times y equals k of x. Now this form of differential equation is a linear, a linear first order differential equation. And then we can as well assume that k of x equals 0. So if we assume k of x equals 0, then the differential equation reduces to dy dx plus p of x times y equals r of x times y squared. And this form of differential equation is called a Bernoulli differential equation. So a Riccati differential equation can either be reduced to a linear first order differential equation or a Bernoulli differential equation. Now it is really difficult to find the general solution of a Riccati differential equation. And so what really happens is a particular solution is usually given. So it's either a particular solution is given in the problem or you are required to find the particular solution yourself by inspection. Now, once you have the particular solution, you can either make one of the two substitutions so that you find the general solution of the differential equation. So, for the particular solution, it is a function of x. So, that will be giving us the particular solution will be given in the form y1 of x equals something, which is a function of x. And based on this, we can either make the substitution 1, that is y equals y1 plus 1 over z. Now, if you do this substitution, then you are going to reduce the Riccati differential equation to a linear first order differential equation. Linear first order differential equation. And then if you do the substitution y equals y1 plus z then the Riccati differential equation reduces to a Bernoulli differential equation and then lastly you find the general solution you find the general solution so you can either do one or two and then three is composure you need to find the general solution of the differential equation. So we have a question here. Let's try to solve this problem. So in this problem, we are asked to solve the differential equation dy dx minus 2y squared plus 3y equals 1. And we have the particular solution y1 of x equals 1. So let's try to solve this differential equation together. So we have the differential equation dy dx minus 2y square plus 3y equals 1. Now, to clearly identify that this differential equation is a Riccati differential equation, let's transpose this term to the right hand side. So, we are going to have dy dx plus 3y equals 2y square plus 1. Now, you realize that this is of the form dy dx plus p of x times y equals 
r of x times y square plus q of x so you realize that the differential equation given is a Riccati differential equation now to solve this differential equation we either reduce this differential equation to a linear first order differential equation or a Bernoulli differential equation now it is usually simple to solve in terms of a linear first order differential equation so what we are going to do is to reduce we are going to reduce the Riccati, Riccati differential equation to a linear first order differential equation. So linear first order differential equation. So that is what we are going to do. We reduce Riccati differential equation to a linear first order differential equation. So by so doing, we are going to do the substitution y equals y1 plus 1 over z. That is the substitution we are going to do. And then we are given the particular solution that is y1 of x or better still y1 equals 1. So this is the particular solution. Therefore, we have y equals 1 plus 1 over z which can also be represented as 1 plus z exponent negative 1. Now from here, what we are going to do is to find the derivative of this function, that is y equals 1 plus 1 over z, and then we substitute that, the derivative, and then the original function y equals y1 plus 1 over z into the Riccati differential equation. So that is exactly what we are going to do. So let's try to differentiate this function with respect to x. So we are going to have dy dx equals, now when you differentiate 1 with respect to x, you have 0 plus, now let's focus on 1 over z. That has been represented as z exponent negative 1. So to differentiate this using the power rule, we are going to drop down negative 1 and then we multiply by z and then we are going to reduce the exponent by 1. So negative 1 minus 1, that becomes negative 2. Now because you are differentiating z with respect to x, we are going to multiply this by dz dx. So we have the differential equation dy dx equals negative 1 over z square times dz dx and finally we can represent this as negative now in place of dz dx we can just write z prime so negative 1 times z prime is negative z prime divided by z square so this is dy dx now we are going to substitute y now this is y and y prime or better still dy dx into the Riccati differential equation given in the question so we are going to substitute y and then y prime into this into this so let's do that. So we have dy dx and then dy dx is negative z prime over z square plus 3 times y. We have y to be 1 plus 1 over z. So 1 plus 1 over z equals 2 times y square. So 1 plus 1 over z all square plus 1. Now let's try to expand and then simplify. So this becomes negative z prime over z square plus let's multiply 3 across. We have 3 plus 3 over z equals. Now let's resolve this. So we multiply 1 by itself. That is 1. 1 times 1 over z that is going to be 1 over z and then next we move on to 1 over z 
times 1 and that is 1 over z so 1 over z plus 1 over z because we have the same denominator it remains the same and then we just add the values at the numerator so 1 plus 1 is 2 so we are going to have 2 over z so we have 1 plus 2 over z and then we multiply 1 over z by 1 over z and that gives 1 times 1 is 1 divided by z times z is z square plus 1 now at this point we want to do away with the fraction so let's multiply across by z square so we multiply each term by z square z square z square So when we do that, then we have z square cancels out z square. We have negative z prime plus this becomes 3z square plus z cancels one of the z's here. And so we have 3z equals. Now we multiply z square across. So we are going to have 2 into bracket z square plus z cancels one of the z's up here. So we are going to have 2z plus z square cancels out z square and then we have plus 1 and then plus z square. Now let's expand this. So we have negative z prime plus 3z square plus 3z equals 2z square plus 4z plus 2 plus z square now let's try to simplify this so we have negative z prime here we have 3 z square on the right hand side we have 2 z square plus z square so when we transpose the sum of these two to the left hand side it becomes negative so 3 z square takes care of 2 z square plus z square again we have 3 z we have 4z here so we transpose 4z to the left hand side it becomes negative so 3z minus 4z is negative z now again we have on the right hand side 2 so that will be equal to 2 now we can multiply through by negative 1 so that we have z prime plus z equals negative 2 now this form of differential equation this form of differential equation is a linear first order differential equation so you can visualize it by writing it as dz dx plus p of x times z equals k of x so here you realize that we have p of x to be equal to 1. The coefficient of z here is 1. And then we have k of x to be equal to negative 2. So next we are going to find the integrating factor which is also a function of x. And then we move on to find the general solution of this differential equation. So to find the integrating factor we know that first of all let's write the values of p of x and then q of x so p of x is equal to 1 and then q of x is equal to negative 2 now the integrating factor which is a function of x is giving us e to the power the integral of p of x dx so that is equal to e to the power the integral of 1 dx now if you integrate 1 with respect to x then you have x so we have e to the power x so the integrating factor mu of x is equal to e to the power x now the next thing is to find the general solution so the general solution z for a linear first order differential equation is giving us 1 over mu of x times the integral of mu of x times k of x dx plus c 
so let's do the substitution so you are going to have 1 over mu of x is e to the power x times the integral of now mu of x is e to the power x times k of x is negative 2 so we can rewrite this as negative 2 times e to the power x dx plus c now let's try to work out what's in the bracket so when you integrate negative 2 e to the power x dx you have negative 2 e to the power x now you differentiate the exponents with respect to x you have 1 and that appears at the denominator so it becomes negative 2 times e to the power x over 1 and that is actually the same thing at this point let's multiply 1 over e to the power x across so that becomes negative 2 e to the power x divided by e to the power x plus c over e to the power x so that becomes e to the power x cancels out e to the power x we have negative 2 plus c over e to the power x now we can simplify this as negative 2 plus c times e to the power negative x remember that this is equal to z this is equal to z now previously we said that the general solution the general solution is given by y equals y1 plus 1 over z now we have y1 to be equal to 1 so for y1 equals 1 and then we know that the general solution is given by y equals y1 plus 1 over z then let's do the substitution we are going to substitute in the value for y1 and then the expression for z so that becomes y equals 1 plus 1 over negative 2 plus c times e to the power negative x now to make it much more representative we can just write as y equals 1 plus 1 over c times e to the power negative x minus 2 so this is the general solution to the Riccati differential equation